down. It's just a trick of Polly's. She is trying to come between us. I want to be hanged, and she wants to parade round as my widow. Polly, this really isn't the time. Have you the heart to disclaim me? And have you the heart to go on about my being married? <coughs> Polly, Polly. It's true, Miss Peacher. You are putting yourself in quite a bad light. Quite apart from the fact that it's civilised of you to worry a man in his situation. The most elementary rules of decency, my dear young lady. It seems to me ought to teach you to treat a man with a little more reserve when his wife is present. And if, my dear young lady, you start raising a row here in the prison, I shall be obliged to send for the crew to show you the door. I'm so sorry, my dear Miss Peacher. Oh, Mrs. McKee. And let me tell you this, these airs you give yourself are most unbecoming. My duty obliges me to stay with my husband, what's that? What's that? Oh, she won't leave! She stands there and we throw her out and she won't leave! Must I speak more plainly? You just hold your tongue, you filthy slutter, or not you rock off. You've been thrown out of me to learn that. Or not clear enough for you. You don't understand those manners. You and your nice manners. I shouldn't know myself, I really shouldn't! Just look at my belly, you slut! Do you feel like it's out of nowhere? Have a little eyes in your head? Oh, so you're <laughs> from the family way? And you think that is your right? A nice young lady like you should have known better than to let him in! Holly! You shouldn't have done that, Mac, and I don't know what to do! Oh, I knew it! Oh, She's so with her man, you little trollop! Come here immediately! <laughs> when they hang your man, you can hang yourself too! A far way to treat your respectable mother, making her come down here and get you out of jail. And he's got two of them, what's more? The Nero. Leave me here, Mama, you don't know. You're coming home this minute. There you go, takes Mama to show you how to behave. Get going. Please, Mama, I just need to tell him one thing, it's very important. Well, this is important. Get going. Oh, Mac! Lucy, Lucy, Lucy. You were. Just for a second though, you thought there was some truth in what she was saying, didn't you? Yes, my dear, so I did. If there were any truth in it. Do you see the way my mother likes me? A mother-in-law treats us a juicer like that. Not a son-in-law. Make me so happy to hear you say that from the bottom of your heart. I love you so much. I'd rather see you in the gallows than an answer than that. <laughs> Isn't that strange? Yeah. Lucy! <laughs> I should like to owe you my Oh, it's wonderful the way you say that. Say it again. Lucy, <laughs> I should like to owe you mine. Should we want to get away together, my dear? Oh, oh, we can't run away together because... Uh, because it won't be easy for us to hide. Oh. But as soon as I stop looking for me, I'll send for you post house. Do you know that? What can I do to help? Uh, get me my can. Excuse me. <laughs> oh. Lucy, the love in which you bear beneath your heart will hold us forever united. Give me the cane. Peach, it was 
wasn't my fault. Of course it wasn't. You'd never have considered. Under the circumstances, it's out of the question, Brown. Mr. Peach, am I a beside myself? Oh, of course you are. Terrible you must feel. Yes, and, and it's that feeling of helplessness that tries on time, so these fellows do just as they please, and it's dreadful, dreadful. Oh, shouldn't you like to sit down a while and just pretend you're in a lovely green meadow with little white clouds floating over it? <coughs> Forget all that about them ghastly things. Those that are past and, more importantly, those that are still to come. Eh? What do you mean by that? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm amazed at your fortitude. Yes, fortitude. Because in, in your position, I should simply collapse. I'd crawl into bed and I'd drink hot tea. And then most of all, I should like someone to lay a soothing hand on my forehead. Damn it all, it's not my fault the fellow escaped. There's not much the police can do about that! There's not much the police can do about that! Well, your fate shall be hideously unjust. These people are sure to say, they always do, that the police shouldn't have let you escape. In our 14 branches, from Drury Lane to Turnbridge, 1,432 gentlemen like yourselves are preparing for the coronation of Her Majesty the Queen. Come on, if you can't work and you can't beg, call yourself beggars. <laughs> Mrs. Peacham, Mrs. Peacham, there's some sleepy and tricks in playing with some money, Jewum. Well, you do look as though you've fallen off your perches. I suppose you've come to collect money from the Captain Mackie. Or you'll get nothing, you understand? Nothing. How are you to understand that, Mum? I'm bursting in here in the middle of the night, coming to a respectable home at three in the morning with the work that you ladies do. I should think you'd need some sleep. You look like sick duck milk. <laughs> so you will be giving us a sick little feet, telling you Mr. McKeithen? Mum? Right? No 30 pieces of silver for you. Why not, Mum? Because your dear Mr. McKeith has scattered himself to the four winds. Now, ladies, get out of my parlour. Well, I call that the limit. Just don't try that on us. That's all I've got to say to you. Not on us! Filch! The ladies wish to be shown the door. I'd be grateful if you said it was to hold your healthy tub. If you don't <laughs> think you can do it! Oh, you haven't given them any money, I hope. Well, ladies, is Mr. McHeath in jail or isn't he in jail? Don't you talk to me about Mr. McHeath. You're not fit to black that gentleman's boots. Last night, I had to let a customer go because it made me cry into my pillow, thinking I'd sold that gentleman to you. Yes, ladies, and what do you think happened this morning? Less than an hour ago, I cried myself to sleep. I heard from a whistle, and out on the street stood that very gentleman I'd been crying about, asking me to throw down the key. He wanted to lie in my arms and make me forget the wrong I'd done him. Ladies, he's the last sportsman left in London, and if our friend Suki Tawdry isn't here with us now, it's because he went on from me to her to console her too. Suki Tawdry! So now you Ooh. see that you're not fit to black that gentleman's boots. Pilch! You miserable snake! Pilch! Run to the nearest police station. Tell the closest constable that Mr. McKeith is at Suki Tawdry's place. <laughs> <laughs> 